Hey guys, uh, this is DFS Chan coming to you here to talk about August 1st. Um, happy August. Um, we're going to have some very, very key games coming up for all the major regions um, heading into the playoffs at the end of this month. And then, you know, next month uh, is going to be the end of the playoffs and then we're going to have some worlds qualifiers uh, next month in September. And then we're going to have the world's tournament happening in October. So here in the next three months, you know, we'll kind of notch up our efforts to kind of get the ball rolling. And, you know, hopefully we finish uh, very strong here in the next three months. I'll be actually physically going to the worlds at some point um, in, in October. So for those of you who may be interested in going, uh, let me know, hit me up on Twitter or, you know, on discord. I'm happy to, uh, you know, let's, uh, you know, shots on me, you know, hopefully, you know, we'll, we'll see each other and um, it's going to be a fun time there. So I'm very much looking forward to it, but until then, until the world's in October, I'm hoping that I can make a video every, every single night. Um, and, um, you know, hopefully you guys can, you know, uh, keep watching and, you know, hit the like button below um, and also join my Patreon if you are interested in, um, you know, more specific uh, predictions and prop bets. So without any further ado, tonight it's going to be a two game slate in the LPL. Um, you know, it comes Wednesday and Thursday and Friday, you know, the weekend, we're going to have all major regions with the LPL, LCK going on and some LEC and LCS going on. Um, so we'll see, you know, if, uh, if I have time, I'll, I'll make LCS and LEC videos, but most of the times I'll just make LPL and LCK videos. So that's the plan for August. So here we go. So anyone's legend versus RNG, um, AL and RNG are both in the playoff hunt. RNG actually has clinched the playoff seed, um, here, let's go check that out real quick because like I said, it's, it's the playoff time. So people are making playoff pushes. Um, and playoff motivation plays a key factor in predicting these matchups here starting in August. So, so as you can see, RNG is in the second uh, second spot. They beat JDG the other day um, in a very hard fought series. Um, they're playing again within two days, um, but RNG is a heavy favorite over anyone's legend who is not really a scrub. I, I think AL is pretty good. Um, I know they're on a three game losing streak, but they have a pretty good team with Xiao Hao and Betty and Chocho carrying that team, in my opinion, jungle and the bottom duo, but RNG really needs to win this. In my opinion, if you, if they want a shot at getting that first seed, I know victory, victory five just lost that game. Um, who did they lose to? I think it was one of the good teams. I cannot remember for some reason. My brain is having a fart. JDG. Um, and JDG lost to RNG. Uh, so RNG is on a two game winning streak. That is not true right there. I don't think that's true. I think Victory 5 just lost that game. But anyway. Um, so RNG really needs to win this matchup to kind of stay ahead of JDG and LNG as well as TES and Weibo Gaming. LNG is 11 and five, wow. Is this accurate? Let me see. Where is victory five? No, that's not it. This is spring. I was about to say, that does not look right. Sorry, guys. Hmm. Yeah, that was the spring. Okay, here we go. I was about to say, victory five is not... I know they just lost that matchup. Okay. Yeah, two game losses, victory five. Okay, so RNG 10 and 2. They need to play one game to kind of play 13 games for... Let's see... So yeah, they do need to win this game if they want a shot at top two seeds. And top two seeds are the ones that get the buys um, in the playoffs. So RNG really needs this win. And AL, let's see where they're at. They're seven and five. They're having a better season, obviously, in the summer split. Yeah, I thought that was weird, the spring split, looking at that. All right, so AL really needs to win this game, actually, to stay in the playoff hunt. W has been eliminated. 
PT. Yeah, I mean, AL is <laughs> on the brink of going into the number six seed if they win in two more games, but I don't think they can do that. Yeah, I mean, RNG really should win. I agree with the odds. Um, yeah, I mean, AL could win um, if Xiao Hao and Betty and Cho Cho all play well. Like I said, I mean, they've been the best players. Um, Xiao uh, on the other hand, RNG Xiao Hu, his form has been, you know, coming back up. Um, and Wei and Gala actually have, they, they played really well, in my opinion. And their team fighting uh, synergy has been getting better, in my opinion, um, after watching that series against JDG. Um, so I like RNG here tonight, um, but I do think AL is alive. It's a live dog. Um, I know that most people will put RNG on RNG's ownership should be the highest on a two game slate like this. Um, but, you know, regardless of the ownership leverage, I think AL has a pretty good shot. I mean, I think they have a shot, not a pretty good shot, a shot at beating RNG if, as long as Xiao Hao and Betty and Chocho play well. Um, I don't think Xiao, Xiao Hu has been the player or, you know, is the player that he was in the last spring split, in the spring split, rather, and in the MSI. I think he is not. He hasn't been playing as well, in my opinion. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, and then Breathe has been okay, in my opinion. So I do think AL has a pretty good shot. Um, just looking at the matchups, I think. I mean, Betty and Cho Cho has been their, uh, you know, strength for AL. And then Xiao Hao has been nothing but really good. I mean, against Wei, I can definitely see Xiao Hao shining. Um, I think they're about even skill-wise and, you know, uh, yeah, skill-wise. So, yeah, I think anyone's legend could, been, could I mean, could do it, in my opinion. Um, they really need to win this, and RNG does as well. Um, I think probably 8 out of 10 times or 7 out of 10 times RNG should win, probably. But AL definitely has a shot, I think. And it should be a pr pretty bloody matchup. All right, Ultra Prime versus FPX. Um, I know Ultra Prime is starting Meow Nu again in the support position. And I don't know, people are like kind of high on Ultra Prime, but I don't know. Like, I'm not a huge fan of crying in the mid lane and hacker is not very good. Um, and then the bottom lane, Elk and Meow Nu, hey, they're okay. I mean, I like FPX to win here no matter what. I mean, I think FPX, um, they're on a kind of a losing skid, but I think it was against, I mean, really good teams in my opinion. Let's, in my opinion, uh, let's see. I mean, they lost to Thunder Talk. Thunder Talk has been a play. Uh, they're a playoff team. And, you know, ever since they played that new bottom lane for TT and Beichuan and Jungle, I think Thunder Talk is a good team. And Anyone's Legend, they beat them. Um, I, like, I think Anyone's Legend is a decent team, just like Thunder Talk. And FPX beat them. But let's see. They lost to OMG, who's been really good. They just beat... Um, what they just beat victory five yeah that's what i was referring to earlier um yeah i mean and also like skill wise um in my opinion for ultra prime I don't even know who their best player is. I mean, I think crying and elk maybe like hacker is not. I mean, he's been solid. He's in, he's been so up and down. Um, I understand that some people are in love with hacker, um, but I just do not see him as a viable jungler in the LPL. I mean, I think he was okay. He was okay for OMG when he played in Ultra Prime. Now, I mean, maybe that's just the team, but um, I very much prefer Clid over hacker, and then also. Um, care has been playing pretty well in my opinion and i'm not that scared of you know crying you know beating care and snowball and kind of take over the game i'm not worried about crying being able to do that because crying it's just not that kind of a player and then summit should i think he will play well tonight um i think he that that is a huge advantage for fpx summit over zoom i know zoom is not the same player that he was when he used to play for jdg um so i like fpx here tonight um, as long as that bottom lane does hold up, holds up okay. LWX and Hang, um, I think they've been so up and down as well, so inconsistent. But you know, when he when they do play well, they play really, really well. I mean, 
uh, when they play well, I mean, they play like one of the most elite teams um, in the LPL. So hopefully that shows up against Elk and Meow New. I think that will be more likely the case. Um, so I like FPX here to win tonight. Um, then I think um, I'll probably get a little bit of exposure to AL, I think. Um, but I think I'm going to have tons of exposure to FPX uh, to win tonight. And I think this is going to be a bloody matchup as well. If I have to pick between the two, um, I think the Ultra Prime versus FPX will be a more bloody matchup. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, if you like the video, please hit the like button to, uh, you know, keep me going every day uh, to make these videos. Um, if you want to check my Patreon, come check it out as well. Otherwise, uh, see you at the top of the leaderboard. Have a good one. Bye-bye.